Dr. Hemin Moon, Dr. Thomas Walsh, Your Excellencies, Ambassadors of Peace, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Ministers from Sri Lanka also. I wish to express my <coughs> profound thanks to Chairman of UPF World Summit, Dr. Hemin Jin Moon, for the kind invitation extended to me and my delegation for our participation at this very important event. It is a great honor and privilege conferred to us, Sri Lanka. I am quite happy to speak to you on the theme of this World Summit Peace, Security and Human Development. It is because of my strong belief in peace and security, which is essential for the human and economic development of the country. Sri Lanka gained the long aided peace and security recently under the leadership of H.C., the president of Sri Lanka, Mahindra Rajavaksu. After defeating the terrorism, which was of almost three decades. Since then, Sri Lanka has become one of the safest places in the region with the rapid economic growth. As a firm believer and advocate of religious harmony, I attempted to create in my Dampala constantly a center for all religious to be respected and honored. It, honored. it is called Ambulu Hour. I think you have seen that now. I wanted people to be able to visualize the details of religious harmony and not just talk about it, but actually see it, feel it, and touch it. In this Interfaith priest park, there is a Buddhist temple, a Christian church, a Hindu kovil, and a Muslim mosque. The houses of worship of the four major world religions are there for people to see and experience. They can enter the body, uh, enter the holy places and pray, sing, chant, or meditate. When I designed this humble hour, I made only one gate to park. I did this on purpose. Everyone, whatever their faith or tradition, must walk through one gate to the park. In other words, our attitude must be to respect and faith because they have a common ideal peace in ourselves and with our neighbors. <laughs> Father Moon shares this same mission in his autobiography. He writes, A true life is a life in which we abandon our private desire and live for the public good. This is taught by all major religious leaders, past and present, east and west, whether it is Jesus, Buddha, or the Prophet Muhammad. Because of you, we have strong emphasis on interfaith harmony. I was happy to meet Dr. Young, the regional president of Asia in Sri Lanka last year. He later explained to me an invitation to come to this one summit, and I am grateful to him for this. I conclu I, in conclusion, I would like to express my gratitude to UPF and its members for their commitment to Sri Lanka over the past several decades. UPF has done an 
outstanding job and had mainly focused on program for youth. Leadership conferences, character education that promotes family values and maintenance sporting competitions where Sri Lankan athletes have always honored their country on and off the field. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for allowing me to share my dream with you. Please come to Sri Lanka and visit Ambulava. I am sure that you will never forget. Thank you very much. I won. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, Yaratna.